Good morning, everyone. Happy 4th of July. Today I got the keys to this 2000 Toyota Tundra. This is an SR5 with the V8 engine. Finished in black with a tan interior. This thing is actually in insanely good shape, which is kind of the reason why I wanted to take this thing and review it for you today. It's got a, like 172,000 miles on it, but you would never know it. Wow. All right, so let's open the tailgate. Got a six and a half foot bed. This is the access cab, not a regular. So you had two cab options. You had the regular cab with just two doors, and then you had the access cab with the two half doors in the back. This is a really nice truck, guys. And then also back when uh, you had to get a second key just for the gas cap. <laughs> so, oh, here we got to, oh, we got to open this up first. There we go. It's an interesting key fob. So this does open up from the outside, which makes it nice and easy. All right, let's have a seat back here. Get the handle. There we go. Let's see if that'll, well, maybe not. So, I mean, it is an access cab, so there isn't a ton of room back here, but I'll tell you what, man, early 2000s seating, holy comfortable. So honestly, this is maybe not for 10 hours, but I, mean, I can kind of dig my knees into the back of this here and it's super plush. So I mean, honestly, I could probably survive back here for a little bit. Um, it's not, not as hateful as I was expecting. It's even nice, you got some cup holders here. You got a power, you got a, you got a sliding rear window. Yeah, this thing's nice. Okay, so let's pop the hood. So under the hood, we got the, there, where is it? It's underneath, there we go. You got the 4.7 liter V8. It makes 245 horsepower, 315 pound feet of torque. Uh, this is driven through a four speed automatic. Have not driven one of those in a while. Uh, Four-speed automatic and uh, fuel economy. Obviously, it's a big V8, so kind of what you'd expect for a big V8 truck back then. You get about 13 miles a gallon around town and about 16 miles a gallon on the highway. So not terrific, but then again, if you buy a truck like this, you're not necessarily worried about fuel economy. All right, we're gonna fire this bad boy up. Jumps to life pretty much immediately. And I thought it was kind of funny because uh, this looks kind of familiar. Uh, a little while ago, I did a video on a 2000 Toyota Avalon and it's the exact same steering wheel. Oh, looks like they put in an aftermarket Kenwood head unit. AC blows cold like instantly, so that's really awesome. Uh, four wheel drive buttons are down here. You just press this to switch between two wheel and four wheel high. And then again, stopped in a neutral, you can press that and that's four wheel low. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. You got your little change drawer in there. You got your cup holders right there, soft cups only. You got a glo nice glove box in there. Got a little storage compartment right here. Some creature comforts, like, you know, fog lights. The headlights are manual, so that's okay, though. Turn those on. Power mirrors. Get my mirror situated. Yeah, nice and simple, guys, way back then. Uh, not a whole lot to go over here, just extremely comfortable and I can't wait to drive it. You even got armrests here. Smoker's package. You do have some outlets down here. 
Looks like two of them. All right. Let's get my seatbelt on and we'll go for a ride. This is super comfortable, guys. So far, so good, guys. This thing drives really good for being a 23-year-old truck. Like I said, I mean, with, with the way this, with how clean this thing is and how well it runs, you wouldn't think this thing had 172,000 miles on it. Steering feels great. Brakes are a little squishy, but they might just need replaced. And you can tell this V8's really torquey because it barely kicked down for a, and it, it's a four speed, so not as many gears to play with. Dropped from fourth to third, but this thing has 315 pound feet of torque, so this thing can tackle hills pretty easily. good around turns.
sorry for not giving much input so far, guys. I'm just very, very, I'm just driving. Just very, very comfortable. I'm just kind of enjoying the ride. go a different way today because they're paving the highway up there and it's going to be a lot of road noise. So we're going to go a different way back today.
we'll give it a little right here. Again, feels pretty strong for a 23-year-old truck. Whoever, had, who, <clears throat> whoever has something like this is very lucky to have it. Especially in this kind of shape, given the miles that it has.
All right, guys. Well, I was very, very impressed. Like I said, given it's a 20-year-old truck, 23-year-old truck, you would not know it had the mileage it had on it. I mean, if you wanted to pick something up for, I mean, kind of looked up values on something like this. I mean, if you wanted to pick a, a nice truck up for like three to five grand, maybe, eh, maybe a little less than that, maybe three, four grand. I mean, this is easily, <clears throat> excuse me, this is easily a truck that you want to buy. I mean, this is, what a value. Like this is, there, there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with this thing. I mean, other than maybe the brakes needing replaced. I mean, this is. Wow, what what good shape this is in. I mean, you got a couple little couple little rust spots there up on the hood, but I mean, underneath there's nothing, on the rockers there's nothing. This is a real solid truck. But uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed doing them for you. Uh, and again, thank you very much to Blaze Alexander Chevy and Muncie for allowing me to do these videos. Really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next one.